Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Bigfoot 36 here coming at you with a, another video. In this video we have the Halo Mega Constructs um, Razorback Blitz. Um, it just came out. I'm not sure if it's officially out, but you can find it at like Walmarts um, throughout the states. I found mine here um, in my local town um, for roughly three, $30. And it comes with the four figures, the Marine, Kelly, the Brute, and the Grunt Mule. Um, this is the box, obviously. This is the back of the packaging. It shows off the two other builds in this wave. Um, the new suspension, the alternate build, and just um, uh, the vehicle in itself. I'm going to open up the box and show you the extra pieces that comes with this. I'm kind of trying to show you um, get the brick separator. There's just a um, load of pieces. Um, in here, hopefully you can kind of see that. Um, there are some extra pieces to the side that I have that are going to make some decent modifications to this set um, to just just to make a, a better, well-rounded set. So first, we're going to take a look at the figures. Let's bring over figures here, and we'll look at the Marine first. Pretty much just a classic, usual, standard um, Marine from the Halo Infinite game with his olive green pants and a darker tan armor set. Um, the helmet comes off and he's just a standard Marine with printed eyes and the pinholes. Um, they came out pretty solid, um, no misprints there. This one in particular comes with the ODST shoulder ar uh, shoulder pads, you can see, and he comes with a battle rifle in um, dark gray. So nothing fancy, nothing great. Um, I forgot to grab the um, stands um, from the set, so these are just the random sets be or random stands, but you do get four in total in the green coloration. And here we have Kelly, um, pretty solid figure actually. Um, when I saw a review of her first, I wasn't too impressed with the uh, color tone on her armor, but in person it looks a little bit uh, a decent amount better, or guys just better in general. Um, she just have gold accents on her shoulder pads and on her hip armor set or armor pieces that match her visors. Um, she does come with a tactical shotgun. This clip does come in the set as extra, and so that's why that's there. Told in her shotgun. And just an overall pretty solid figure with that new helmet style. Um, we've seen it once before in a helmet series in the red variation, but pretty solid figure overall. Um, sad that she didn't get the number printed on her left chest plate, um, left side of the chest plate, um, which sucks like Fred and the Chief does in the other previous sets. Here's the Grunt Mule. Um, pretty, he's new, um, a little different in color variation, I believe on the skin tone and also the armor set compared to the one on in the um, blind bags. But he comes with two bright red shock rifles, the bright red um, grenade and the um, plasma pistol. Um, pretty solid figure, I mean, there's only two really released, and so this is the second one we've gotten. So not bad. Um, just another one to add to the collection. Um, the color on the weapons, I don't know if I would have suggested that. They're just really outlandish and bright red. But, I mean, what do you do? It matches the banished color tone. And then on to the um, brute of the set. Um, he's pretty solid. Um, a lot of really good paint applications to him. Like his helmet has a bit of uh, scar uh, that resembles in this. That's resembled in the silver painting on his helmet, also on his chest piece and his groin cloth. Um, he does have the new hands for the brutes, with a three finger. Um, I believe the Marines come with the four. If you can see that all right. Comes with a red plasma caster. I believe is what it's called. I'm not sure that'll show up in the game. But also about printing, sorry to jump back, is his toes are also printed, which is nice to have. Um, 
unfortunately have a um, quality control issue on his elbow. Um, you can't see it very well, um, but his elbow is not um, done correctly, so it sticks out and is loose, but it is what it is. And now, on to the set itself. Here we go. There it is. It is done in a dark gray color to work alongside with the um, new mongoose. I think it's either the gun goose or whatever that's going to come out here soon. Um, but this is going to be the new heavy duty troop transport. They're kind of like what we saw in Halo 3. Sorry for the camera shake there. Um, but in a Halo um, Infinite variation. Um, all the details here are printed. Um, sorry for any noise in the background. Um, the printed, these are all printed here on every piece here with the no step. I'm also with the light, the UNSC logos here and here, and also the center console inside of the Razorback itself. The seats are built, they're not like the um, ones from uh, sets past, like the old uh, Warhog that have an actual built in seat. These work pretty well. Um, a lot of bars for things to hold on to here, here possibly, and all of them obviously here, which is a new piece. And this is what part of the modification has to deal with. One problem that I did have with this set is these bars that are supposed to be in the back here. Um, they're supposed to they look like this. It's the assembly and they're supposed to go in there and s match up and just sit there, but they just... They fall out. They there is no tension, and so I had to repurpose uh, or I repurposed these for something different, which I'll show you in a second. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but we'll get to the modification real quick. Um, it's along the step here um, in the back of, uh, with this, as you can kind of see. Um, hopefully, I can proportion it right. This has a slant down to it, and I think it kind of adds a little bit of extra tension on the build itself, which isn't the best. So you're gonna pop this off from the back and in the instructions it has you put a one by two plate with these clips on there. But we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna keep one clip off of it. We're gonna borrow that, get a one by two jumper plate. I'm gonna clip that in, in its place, all right? Pretty simple. And then, right where that came off of, is where we're gonna put it back, it's right there. And that's how simple it is. Um, you take this, the bar piece, and you can clip it on the bottom or the back piece first, and then insert the bottom or the top here. And then I just adjust it accordingly to make it as even as possible. Cause now with this one clip, and in the back it can slide up and down Hopefully you can see that. And you can get it to a right proportion of where you want it to be. That way it's all the way even. Um, the next modification that I want to show is right here. You have these two open studs in the front of the vehicle, um, right below the headlights, which don't, in my opinion, look very good. I mean, all these modifications come with pieces that are in the set. That's why I do this modification because some people don't have a big collection of pieces, especially with Mega. There's not a lot of ways to get a lot of extra pieces. So you get uh, one of each of these as extra, I believe in the set, I hope they're extra, otherwise I put them in their incorrect place. But they're the opposite pieces. So they go in tandem, hopefully you can see that all right, at the angle, one by one angle pieces. And we're just gonna put it up here. Oh, as that breaks off, nice. As you can see, Oh, it's going to break off because that's my luck. Oh, just put that back in. And it just kind of cleans up the front a little bit more. Gives it more armored capabilities. Uh, if you want to pretend this is armor. But it just gives you more... Um, just looks a lot better instead of having those two open studs. Um, and then with the two pieces. The, the, um, that one in the back that I was showing you just a second ago. Um, I just inserted this piece here. I made it flat and went up against the studs here. As kind of just some railing, because you want to have your marine safe, you know what I'm saying? And so 
so just like that and put them slide them up against the studs so they're nice and secure this way and it just kind of gives you some extra railing gives you a little more beef to it and kind of resembles more to the um, uh, the thing from or the vehicle from Halo 3 with the railing on the side and the seats in the middle but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video slash modification kind of an overview of the sets um, with the marine or the figures in the set and some modifications um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you are new to this channel uh, if you like what I do um, with Mega and Lego Star Wars and just like this channel make sure you subscribe it helps me out a lot um, like the video comment um, as always guys take it easy